Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Use that. Trying to stay awake. Gotta go up. Got gotta go outside and shovel. So you know how that goes. So any well anyway, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Man, these nerds so good. But welcome back to another video, man. We get more into sports. Uh, it's been a, it's been a weird week of sports. You seen Jay Cutler outplay Tom Brady, which would never happen again. Best believe that. That would never happen again. And stuff like that. Seeing the ball. Excuse me. You seen the ball brothers. As y'all know or y'all didn't know. They signed with a Lithuanian team. Lithuanian. I don't know how to say that. For all you Lithuanians out there. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing y'all country or whatever. But y'all got the ball brothers. You know. I, I want to see how LeVar try to control this situation. Because... He's in another country. They're in another country. And he been taking control of his son's lives for a long time. But we ain't gonna talk about that. You know, that he do with his sons, even though one of his sons 16s, and I don't agree with that because he's 16. He not even fit a he not even fit a go to prom, chill out with his friends, hang out with his friends. It's basically like you just took the whole boy life away from him. And now he got to live in a country on his own with his brother. With no English American food over there. And it's just, I don't agree with that. Your baby boy, I get I get you, I get your middle son. He, he was in college. But your baby boy, I don't get that. But anyway, I'm here to talk about something special. Y'all see it behind me. And usually when I do this, you know what I'm going to talk about. So if y'all didn't know, for all my Michigan fans out there, I'm pretty sure y'all do know. But for all my Michigan fans out there, I just had to bring this to y'all. Uh, Shea Patterson or that QB from Mi Ole Miss, um, University of Mississippi, has transferred to the University of Michigan. And I heard that he's going to be eligible to play. Like... Usually when you transfer, you know, you can't play. But because it's still the middle of the season, bowl games haven't started yet, it's, he's eligible to play. Sort of like Jake Rudock. When he transferred in the middle of the bowl games, he was eligible to play. So, he's going to be eligible to play. So, that means either him or Peters or Joe Milton or Dylan McCaffrey is going to battle it, battle, battle it out for first QB. Now, I know this year was disappointing. You know, we all wanted to beat our rivals. We wanted to win plus 10 games again. I, I get that. You know, that's we're used to winning. We're Michigan. I can't be like, well, what did you expect? We're Michigan. We're used to winning. We're going to excuse the Brady Hoke era. We're going to excuse the Rich Rodriguez era. We're going to excuse all of that. We're used to winning. And, you know, I say this is a big step up. Because we, because anybody can say it. Even Paul Feinbaum, the, a Michigan criticizer or a Michigan hater, we might all say. He even said they were a good team. He said this is a big step because... The only thing that has been missing for Michigan in over the past two years after Jake Rudock left were, was a QB. And last year we had Wilton Spade, but he dealt with his fine shares of injuries. And this year we had Wilson Spade. He dealt with another injury. Then we had John O'Corn. He turned out not to be as good as everybody thought. Because he was playing for Houston. But people got to realize. American Conference is different from the Big Ten Conference. So of course he, he was going to play bad. I'm not knocking him. He's a great QB. But at the same time. He's not built for Big Ten material. Jake Rudock. He, he came from another Big Ten school. So he know what it was like. 
Wilson Spate, he didn't play nowhere else but a Big Ten, so he knows what it was like. And I tried to tell people. People were saying, get Wilson Spate out of here. We need John O'Corn. John O'Corn came in. Now, people, get John O'Corn out of here. We need Brandon Peters. Now, Brandon Peters game, man, he was a real QB. I give him that. Brandon Peters was a real QB. And things like that. So, I give him that. But, this is a huge step for where we want to be. Because every team we faced had a real QB. And we couldn't do nothing about it. We couldn't outplay Alex Hornibrook because Brandon Peters got injured. We couldn't outplay JT Barrett even though he got injured. But John O'Corn worked his magic at being a bum. And Michigan State, he did that again. So, you know, it happens. But I'm looking forward to next year. I'm, I'm very optimistic. I heard that they fired the strength coach. I don't know why. Like, the strength and conditioning coach. I, I don't know why because he is the one that got us together. He is the one that's getting everybody stronger and things like that. So, I don't know why they did that. I'm going to keep y'all more update with this Michigan stuff. I haven't talked about Michigan since Purdue. You know, i just been slacking. I've been talking about other sports because y'all don't want to see me on here talking about just Michigan. So, I talk about everything. I talk about even bum Ohio State. I talk about even bum Michigan State. Even though I haven't made a video about them. But I'm just letting y'all know I'm not just sticking to one team. I love my Detroit teams. I love the Lions. I love the Pistons. I love every Detroit team. But you don't see me steadily talking about them. This is a sports channel. I'm talking a variety of sports. So if y'all love sports. If y'all love Michigan. If y'all love anything Detroit. Anything sports related. Hit me up. Subscribe. Watch me. Y'all been slacking on watching my channel. I mean, watching my videos. I know y'all been busy with school, so I'm going to let that slide. But come on, y'all. Let's get this going. I'm going to bring y'all more content in the future. I promise that I won't be missing two or three weeks, even though I haven't. But still, I'm just letting y'all know. I'm going to stay true to this. This is for y'all. And anyway, I'm going to be back with this sports thing tomorrow or probably this week. Anyway, I love y'all. Peace out.